Hey everybody, it's Keith Couch with Rocky Mountain Peterbilt's Rush Truck Center in Greeley, Colorado. Got a classic black one for you here today. This one's sold, unfortunately. Just wanted to, it's been a while since I've posted a video. Doesn't get much prettier than a classic black extended hood feet. So just wanted to share this one with you. It's a 2022 Peterbilt 389 extended hood. Ultra cab, ultra sleeper, uh, 280 wheelbase, and this is my favorite black. It's not legendary black, it's just a, Peterbilt just calls it black. I've got the paint code for it. It's got small metallic flake in it, if you can see it here. It's just beautiful. It looks like it's some gold and some silver flake in there, if you can see it. But uh, beautiful, beautiful. It's just hard to beat a black Peterbilt. So classic. Put a 14 inch drop visor on it, as you can see there. Added two extra lights on the top of the cabin and cleared all seven. And we don't, we did a train horn on this one as well. We'd have probably put cab lights, sleeper lights, and breather lights on, but <laughs> we're having a hard time getting them. So all the suppliers are struggling. Aero mirrors, they don't look as classic as the old moto mirrors, but they are much more functional. Uh, well worth upgrading to those mirrors. Those mirrors are excellent. Uh, master disconnect there. Polished air tank, polished diff tank. Got a 110 polished tank on this side. Need to do a little more cleaning up here. Well, it must have come in from the factory that way. So, um, got a 150 on the other side. Air ride cab, it's air ride sleeper. There's our exhaust port that tells us this has a bunk heater, S bar bunk heater. Straight air and electric lines there's our jump posts right there in the middle right back there so if you have if you're pulling a reefer or anything you can always jump off of that it's a protected circuit hook built 30 inch drop quarter fenders Got michelin's on this one 11 r 22 fives xdm twos i tried to spec Michelin's on mine. Pretty much everybody seems to like them. Um, hate these. Hate these uh, little rocks in here. That'll put a dent in the back of that sleeper in a hurry. So I try to pick those out. So I'll pick that one out before I'm done here. We got the antennas on the back of the sleeper there. CB antenna and the logger mount radio antenna is what they call that. Gets them off of the mirrors. Outboard mount, air slide fifth wheel, Holland FW 35 fifth wheel. And I believe this one's got full lockers. Yep, it does. We like to bring them into Greeley with full lockers. Uh, disc brakes. I should show you those. Disc brakes all the way around. I got some rocks to dig out of these tires. Not sure where it went, but access step toolboxes. Um, and one thing I will, I, no, we didn't didn't do the tank heaters on this one. Polished uh, after treatment. Stainless steel air breathers, I believe. Love them, love these black trucks when they're clean. Hot side of the engine. And we got that air ride steer axle. Just talked to a gentleman, he said, had a friend driving, didn't, didn't see that big of a difference. It's not so much the difference of uh, what you feel in the seat and in the steering wheel for this air ride steer axle. 
but the reports I'm getting back are guys are almost doubling the life of their steer tires because of the air ride. So and we get that some, from some pretty reliable sources that, hey, they, they like it because it doubles the steer tire life or almost doubles it. It's a Davco fuel filter. Here's our remote lube. And you can put a dump valve on these, wire it into the dash so you can kind of dump the front. It gives you a little bit of a custom look. I believe this one is a, yep. She's a 605 2050 torch. Platinum interior, we'll go inside real quick. And uh, beautiful platinum interior. We did not do the wood grain on this one, we just did the black. Um, just the black dimpled dash. So the guy could paint that real easy, sanded down. Um, got 18,716, 18,716 pounds. Black leather seats, got the fold away armrest so you can see them there. And uh, we'll fire her up. So this is still the legacy dash, the analog dash. One of the last ones. So we got our fifth wheel slide here, PTO switch and air dump. And then this is our inner axle diff lock, our forward axle and our rear axle. So that's why we, we lose these two gauges. AM FM, uh, concert class, Bluetooth. 18 speed transmission factory CB the ultra cab you get seven inches more headroom than the flat top cab so you get some storage here and uh, double bunk so a lot of guys will use behind here uh, for storage place for TV <laughs> We do have the, the pull-out business center. Closet. We do have the refrigerator here. Yeah, she's nice and cold. And then, uh, your little control center back here. Just to control your heat and AC when a truck is running. Alarm clock couple of power points, light switch, and then that's your controls for your S-Bar here. Very simple, very easy. So I just thought I'd share this one with you. Unfortunately, it's sold, but this is a very good uh, representation of what we order. And you can see the fold-away armrest, how much more room that gives you in between the seats. So. 3.3 hours with uh, 14 miles on it. So, I appreciate you taking a look. Give one, one last look. Beautiful truck. Doesn't get much better than just classic black. She's a beauty. So, thank you. Please like and subscribe. Uh, it's Keith Couch, 970-691-3877. Or you can email me at couchk, that's C-O-U-C-H-K, at rushenterprises.com. Thanks for watching.